Welcome to Let's Music Talk. Today I'm going to be showing you how to automap the KeyLab 49 Essentials. This can also be applied to the KeyLab 88 and the MK2. First I'm going to show you how to automap to FL Studio. Each DAW is different in the way to set this up, but I'll guide you through and put a link in the, the description so that this can be used on all DAWs and used universally no matter the digital audio workstation. All right, so let's just hop right into this. So how you auto map this keyboard to your DAW in FL Studio is the way you see it on screen right now. And I got this straight, straight out of Arturia. Here it is in my DAW. Now, if you just match these ports exactly the way you see on screen, this will link your keyboard MIDI controller to FL Studio. Okay, so we should be all set up now. Now let's cover the functions. Here is the MIDI control settings. One of the first things I had to make sure to do after testing everything out is that the drum pads are two octaves down and that's a problem because the samples that go into FL Studio are usually programmed for C5. So you're gonna have to reset that and you can do that with no, the notes down here by programming this. It says C1, you're gonna have to put it to C3. That's what I had to do. For me, now everybody else could be different the way that you program it. You can literally program all these parameters differently. Now this is a print screen that I had to do because I can't have the MIDI control center open at the same time as FL Studio. So I'm showing you this through a picture. And here are, you can change the different templates. You literally gotta just make sure that you always put store two. It won't allow you to store to the first two because those are read only as you can see. And then the only other settings that are in this MIDI control center are some more device settings. Here you can change the user MIDI channel. Uh, the Vegas mode I have disabled at the moment, but usually I have on and it just makes this whole keyboard light up with fancy lights. Then you have DAW mode, which needs to be on Mackie control. Then DAW fader mode, which I have set to jump, but you can set it to hook or latch, which is different functions you'll have to look up depending on what your needs are or what you like. Then you have keys, velocity curve, and the pads, velocity curve, which I both have set to linear. Now let's jump into FL Studio and I'll show you some cool things with this keyboard. Here we are in FL Studio. Right now I'm gonna show you how to connect your MIDI controller to Analog Labs. So the first thing that we're gonna do is load up an instance of Analog Labs, like so. We're gonna go right here and we need to set this port, input port, to one. Now this is gonna connect this keyboard to the plugin. All you gotta have to do next is hit map select, which is already selected, and put that to analog labs. Now I can control my sound that I want. And as you can see, these different faders correspond with the plugin and the knobs. So this is very convenient. Also the pitch control, the mod wheel, they all correspond with this plugin. Next, I'm gonna show you how to map to your DAW using this controller. But first, before you do that, you need to set this input port back to nothing. If you don't set this back to nothing, Unfortunately, right now, every time you play a sound within FL Studio, it's gonna still play the instance of Analog Labs. We are hoping that sometime soon, Arteria has an update to fix that. But for now, that's the only pain with this beautiful bundle. So let's map select, DAW. Now, on your keyboard, you're gonna see DAW Command Center. There's a whole bunch of parameters that work great from this uh, keyboard to your DAW. Fortunately, I can't press them right now because I'm recording in Edison and it controls different parameters in, in Edison because that's the way I have it set up. But these faders, as you can see, now I have this on nine, but Let's just say you scrolling through your different tracks, you always hit your live bank. I'm gonna hit previous. Now I'm back 
on the first eight. So it'll be eight. When you hit next, it'll be your next eight tracks. Now this is great if you're mixing and gain staging. For me it is, or when I'm at the end of the song and I'm like, well, I just want this saxophone higher and I'm just playing the song through and I'm just messing with the faders. My, for, for me, I programmed it where it just helps my workflow. And, and I love that feel of having those faders in my hand. But for you, it might be different. Maybe those faders, you want them to control a different parameter in FL Studio or your DAW. It's up to you how you want these to function. So right now, I'll show you how I gain stage just real quickly. Let's take off this metrodome because that is annoying. And then you could just gain stage the way you want to. Well, I hope today these quick, quick little tips, it was just a short video to kind of introduce you to your KeyLab keyboard MIDI controller. Please subscribe, comment, like, or share this video to help this channel grow and so I can keep doing more videos. All right, you guys have a great day. Peace.